Hey folks, Quill18 here, bringing you another League of Legends commentary. This time I will be playing as Shen, and I'm actually trying something a little different. I am going to be jungling as Shen, right from level 1, but I'm going to do so without a smite. Um, it was the first time doing it, just doing it kind of an experiment. I discovered that I can quite easily jungle without smite. In fact, I even barely had to rely on my healing potions. Um, and uh, I thought I would have to rely on the heal quite a bit more, and I didn't even have to do that. The idea being... I don't find Smite very useful in the late game, whereas Heal um, is always qu quite nice to make you a little tanky, to help support your team, and so I figured as long as I can jungle okay without it, uh, this might be a better long-run strategy. Now, it does mean I'm jungling a little bit more slowly, and it does mean that I'm going to be avoiding the, uh, the buff mobs quite a bit, like I don't go after Lizard um, for quite some time here, so I'm not sure if it's ideal or not. But it worked out fine in this situation. I felt I felt pretty good about the jungle the whole time. Um, so I, I'm not sure. It's a trade-off between jungling speed and late game usefulness of the summoner spell. Um, so I'm going to be a little less in level and gold than I could be. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, the other thing that's going to happen in this video actually is I was actually lagging really, really bad at the start here. Um, so it goes on for a little bit, but after a while, I actually uh, the recording stops because I actually quit uh, League of Legends to just reload the client to see if that will help with the lag. And it did a tiny bit. Um, you know, probably probably restarting it didn't actually make a difference. It probably just got a little bit better on its own, but I had to try. And so I didn't restart the recording right away because I thought, okay, well. I'm already going on a slightly slower jungle build. I'm going to lose time for having to reload. Plus, I'm not going to be doing as well because I'm lagging. So, you know, no point in recording. But um, at some point, I'll actually notice that the game is tied up at 6-6. And I think, oh, this is probably going to be a really, really fun match. And so I start recording again. So there is going to be a gap. I apologize for that. Um, but hopefully we still got a lot of really good, exciting content uh, to show. So you're going to miss some of the uh, the earlier kills. But um, but it does mean that everyone is on even ground, which is always important. I mean, you, if you start a game and it quickly goes to 6 nothing, well, that's going to be pretty one-sided. It might have some exciting bits and some fun bits, and you just get to sort of pick on people. But it doesn't mean it's going to be a, uh, a balanced match in any way whatsoever. In fact, I believe the video will get cut here, because I'm trying to use the Vorpal Blade, and you can see it's just not going, then it finally goes, and... Bah! Bah! Actually, I make a stupid mistake here. I use Vorpal Blade and then level it up. Clearly, I should have leveled first and then used it, but... I just sort of go on autopilot in these, you know, I hit my, my things whenever they come off and cool down. Actually, I tend to wait an extra second with the Vorpal Blade, because, um, especially if you are using your Faint, it's hard to keep them both up. There's the cut. It's hard to keep them both up all the time. Uh, so I wait the extra second with the uh, Vorpal Blade. That way, um, I'm not casting it before the buff runs out. So a nice encounter here. Looks like we're going to be chasing down Swain. I believe these two will be able to get it. Akali is a very good chaser, and uh, so is Ezreal, actually. Plus, he's got the long range on his skill shots. Meanwhile, I'm just going to be harassing Mundo. Obviously, he's got way too much health to kill very easily. Um, but, oh, looks like my team is getting pulled away to the dragon. In fact, I, I made the decision here. I thought, you know what? If there's, there's just Shaco there, either he's just going to escape, because it's Shaco and he does that a lot, or they're going to be able to nuke him down almost instantaneously and, you know, kill him before he can escape. Either way, I was not going to get to the encounter before the fight was going to be over. Uh, so I figured I would stay here and, you know, partially keep Mundo pin and also keep them guessing. You know, if we all suddenly disappear, they're going to become much more suspicious. But if I stayed there and especially did the taunt moves like I'm trying to initiate a team fight, I th thought, you know, it might work. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if what I did made a difference. Ooh, here it's quite bad. I I felt so good about this because I got out of there. I'm like, whew, just survived that. Barely had any health. Oh, right, right, Vlad. Yeah. Screw you, Vlad. I hate you. So that sucked. <laughs> Item-wise, I uh, I picked up the Ninja Tabi, which um, I, I suppose is an okay item against this team. Part of the reason I did it is just because it was a natural progression from the items I started with. Ninja Tabby is also really good for jungling. Um, so, you know, it was partially that. If they had a lot of CC, I would have gone for Merc Treads. But otherwise, I sort of just autopilot to the Ninja Tabby if I'm going to be doing any kind of jungling, which is Shen I always do some amount of, so it's a pretty standard pick for me. That being said, sorry about the noise here. My mic is all screwed up. There we go. That being said, um... 
the Boots of Swiftness, or even Boots of Mobility, are not a bad choice on Shen in any way whatsoever, because it'll enable you to get that chase uh, off a lot more effectively. Like your, your, um, the, what is it called? I don't even remember. The, the, the charging taunt move is really good at helping you chase down people, but it doesn't actually f increase your effective movement speed that much, and the range is short enough that unless they're very close to you, you're probably not going to be able to hit them with the taunt anyway. Uh, so having the extra movement speed is actually pretty powerful, because then you can close in uh, tightly enough to get the taunt off. So they're applying a lot of pressure to the middle, and their team is actually fairly buff that there's uh, between Swain, Vlad, and Mundo, there are a lot of high health targets, so it's hard to sort of counter harass them. And at the same time, they have a lot of really good harass power. So there's my health getting quite low here, um, and forcing myself, forcing myself to go back. Um, so it's possible that I put myself in a bad situation there. I was trying to do some those cool moves where you sort of taunt and pull people into power range and take some damage, and then if your team is quick enough to respond, they just lay on the damage quite thickly. But the, the only target they kept putting in range really was Mundo, and that's not really going to work against Mundo, because he's just way too tough. So it was possibly a waste of my abilities there. Um, I'm watching the fight carefully, looking to see if there's going to be an engagement so I can teleport in. Looks like there's not going to be anything. They're going to pull back, and then at some point here, there's going to be a little QQ about there not being a tank to initiate. I'm like, well, I had to go back because I had no health, okay? Maybe I made some mistakes in letting my health get so low, but I had no choice to go back at that point. And I was babysitting in case there was going to be a teleport in, but yeah, you know, I wasn't there to initiate, but like, it seemed like a weird thing to whine about. But, that, yeah, people like to blame other people, and that's fine. It, this gets sorted out just fine. People, this, uh, this group was actually a really, really good group. Very, very friendly, very nice, very fun to be with, but there was just this one little bit right here where people had some discussion about the right time to do stuff. And, okay, whatever. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't even about me. But I felt bad because I wasn't there to initiate. Now this build I've got with Shen doesn't actually have a whole lot of health. Again, miss with the taunt. I give it a try, just in case, you know, they pause. Maybe he was going to sit there and uh, throw a dagger or try to go in for a single melee attack or something. It happens. I catch people like that all the time. Obviously, it, most of the time it doesn't work, but sometimes it does, and that's what you look for. Again, I'm babysitting Vlad here in case he needs a, a, a shield, but... He's pretty tough, and it's unlikely to happen. In fact, we're probably just going to miss the fun. There are some people with low health, and both Akali and uh, and Katarina are pretty good at, at uh, snagging people who are low health. Vlad is super low. Okay, I jump in on Akali there because she was in tower range, and oh! Damn. Not able to save her from uh, the extra attacks from Katarina. She just does too much damage too quickly, bursts through my shield. But... It looks like it pulled more of them into the action. Nice taunt there, finally. Get both Shaco and Mundo. And Shaco does get taken out by Katarina. I think our Katarina's go down to Mundo. Yes, just to his uh, his area of effectability, I believe. And Mundo will probably be able to escape, thanks to the slow of his cleavers. And I'm just going to try to get out of there, because I'm actually quite low here. And, oh, take another cleaver. And I decide it's wise to fall a little further back. Uh, because I'm actually low enough. I'm not entirely sure how much damage this cleaver is doing right now, but I could die to a single cleaver hit. In fact, I think that's probably pretty likely. And, oh, Mundo throws a cleaver, but he throws it in a completely bizarre direction. He doesn't go for the bush. I don't know if that was a misclick or if he was, you know, hoping to catch a runner or something like that, but if he'd gone straight for the bush, he might have been able to kill me. If nothing else, he would have broke... Oh, there goes Mundo. And Vladimir is going to be able to get away with his pool of blood quite easily. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I think Mundo could have killed me if he'd aimed straight there. To cancel my teleport, he could have just walked in there and probably hit me, killed me with one shot at that point, if the cleaver didn't kill me in the first place. Get a little more jungle on. Didn't seem like a, a fight was likely. I always try to grab my money where I can. Very important, the extra XP, the extra money. You don't want to just be wandering around, staring at things, and not constantly getting gold. Lost our Akali there to Swain. And Ezreal looks like he's going to try to do something very fancy against Shaco here. That's extremely risky. He's low health. Luckily, Katarina's in there to help finish off the job. And Ezreal is going to be able to escape. Luckily, Ez is really mobile. Again, we've got these high health people. So annoying. 
letting people know. I like to let people know when my ultimate is almost back up. And in fact, Katarina here decides to engage. She knows she's going to be protected. Swain is really low. She's low in health, but it's going to be okay. We are going to snag Swain and then start running away. And we should be able to escape perfectly fine. Excellent. That was a completely safe engagement on her part, especially with, with me able to support. She knew that it was up in case there was any trouble. Well, we're going to lose this tower here. I'm actually slowed. I'm a little concerned here. I should be okay. Got just enough health. Duck in the bushes a second here. Go away. Look back at the combat. What's going on? I want a blue pill home, but Katarina's almost going to die. So I'm going to throw my shield on there. Protect her from Mundo. Just enough to keep her alive. Yeah, she takes another cleaver there, but I, at least I think that hit her. But it is not able to kill her because of the shield. So it was a huge risk for me to go in there at such low health, but it looked like it was worth doing. I'm not afraid to sacrifice myself if it means protecting one of our uh, somewhat better fed carries. And yeah, I'm going for the Aegis of the Legion. It's not... It's been nerfed a couple of times. It's not the item it used to be. Um, but it really did look like a fight with the, a, a game that was going to have a lot of group fights. And so it seemed like a decent idea to uh, to pick that up. Um, you know, it's slightly more personal survivability, too. It seemed like an okay idea. I, I'm not sure it was the optimal choice. Maybe I should have gone for... Um, maybe a Force of Nature. Or a Warmongs is always a possibility, especially now that it's so much better. And obviously, at some point, I'm going to want to get a Guardian Angel, but I don't like to rush the Guardian Angel. To me, that's something you get when you're already a little bit scary because of your other items. Ooh. He just moves out of range of the taunt just in time there once again. And looks like a little bit more farm time. I'll go for these. Ezreal's going to go for the red buff. Very nice. It's just free gold and experience kicking around. Always like to grab it. Ezreal, Ezreal's got a man immune and a triforce and boots of swiftness. Ah, pretty good, uh, pretty good item set actually. And the game is currently 17 to 10, so clearly things are moving in our favor here. Definitely not a lock yet. And we've got some pings going on for dragon. All right. I want to go and finish my Aegis, but if there's going to be a fight, and looks like there might actually be a team fight here, as they are going after the dragon. And Swain has decided to move right in the corner. Does he have Flash, and he's hoping to get away? Because that's not going to work out. I throw a taunt on him just to make sure that uh, there's not going to be any way for him to get out of there. And we're going to chase down and probably kill Vlad. No problem. And we may as well stay and take the dragon as well. A vision ward goes down in the back, so they know we're still here fighting the dragon. They may be trying. I don't know. I think their uh, their Shaco actually has a smite. Hmm. Very nice moves by Shaco there. Now we've got the ward up and or the the ultimate up. There is no dispute. Reading two things at once in the tech the chat line. Oh, it's a nice creep push here. I'm pretty sure this tower is going to go down here. We've got enough units. They've got enough people dead. I don't see how they're going to be stopping this. Random ultimate by Ezreal there. Probably to kill another creep wave to ensure that we can keep pushing. I don't think I'd realize at the time. I was like, oh, was there was there someone at low health, he thought, or whatever? No, he's just trying to keep the creep wave down. Very interesting. Don't think... Oh, I do get... I thought I got a taunt on Swain, but he kept walking forward. How strange. Does take him out. And... Looks like Ezreal is quite low. I'm going to pour it on him. But we've got a bunch of people who are really low. I'm going to stay in the action here just to try to pull some more hits. I could have tried to run, but I was making an intentional uh, move to stay in there and hopefully provide too many targets. So there squishies could stay alive. Uh oh. Well, Shaco gets a kill, but he dies in return for it. Now, Katrina, Katarina is getting pretty fed. I think Akali's got a few kills on her belt as well. And I'll let people know. I, I really felt this was a great match, and I was definitely intending to post it either way. Um, we, I mean, we've got a fair lead on kills here, but none of it is feeling easy, and they're certainly getting plenty of kills back, and they still have a really good pushing team. Um, we're behind on tower. Well, oh no, actually, we've just, uh, we're evened it up. we've just evened it up on towers, but we were behind for quite some time. Yeah. 
So I'm going for my guardian angel now. Seemed like a good time to do it. Once I've got that, then a Shen. I mean, already a Shen. I'm always ready to throw myself into the uh, the mouth of the beast. Um, but then I start to become even more comfortable doing it, and it, it discourages them from attacking me. I'm not the sturdiest of tanks, at least not with my item build. Now I finally got a little bit more health under my belt, but um, yeah, I'm not I'm not the sturdiest of tanks, and so it's not that hard to kill me, especially since I'm always going to be at the front, and it's going to encourage people to focus fire on me, and this will make a pretty big difference. And obviously the extra armor and magic resistance also goes a long way. Nope, there's the engagement. I'm a little late to the party. I think that ultimate hit, but didn't kill. And that was just me being bad there. I missed that taunt. He was definitely within range. I just didn't aim it properly. I'm gonna throw a taunt down on Mundo over here, keep him a little bit pinned, but he's just got way too much health. And when he pops his ultimate, he regens so fast and moves so quickly that he's just impossible to kill. Easily able to avoid us by running through his tower. But now it's getting quite low. I think we could just run in and snipe the tower if we wanted to. And I do throw a taunt on Mundo there. Keep him a little pinned, but I don't think it's going to change anything. Here's Shaco coming from the back. Okay, that's his illusion, clearly. Another taunt. Keep him pinned just long enough. Okay, so it took like three or four taunts and some five-man focus fire, but eventually we got him down. Uh, oh, colleague, do I have my ultimate? Oh, I ultimate on uh, Katarina instead. They were both low. I could only save one. Ah, uh, yes, and here is get the I love you, Shen. And I believe I'm type. I'm about to type here that uh, clearly I love her more than Akali. You have to choose between your two children. I chose Katarina. I don't know what Shaco was doing there. That's quite risky for him to do. I don't think that's an illusion because his ultimate was down from from earlier. It seems kind of foolish to do when there's a possibility of a taunt. In fact, I'm surprised I'm not going for him. Well, we're doing lots of tower damage. I guess taking out the tower is pretty worthwhile. And... Oh! He's able to deceive away just before my taunt lands. So that was a pretty good move on his part. Akali's jealous because there's no mutual ninja love. Of course, Akali, Shen, and... Oh, I can't remember his name all of a sudden. Little lightning guy. Uh, start with a K? I don't remember. There are the three ninjas in the game. Three token actual ninjas with energy. And here Ezreal and I abuse our superior mobility to get the hell out of dodge. Don't want to spend too much time in the enemy jungle. We'll get him the blue buff here. The only guy on our team with mana. And I want to make sure to back up nice. Oh, hello! What are you doing here? It's a little low. I don't want to keep in the engagement. because, But, uh... Ooh, nice ultimate there. Now, that's the illusion, obviously. But... We may be able to get him. Now, he's just blinked away again. But where did he go? He What's he doing up here? The Shaco makes some really weird and risky decisions. I still don't chase because I don't see any way that I'm actually going to catch him. His deceive will be up way too quick. And, oh, nope, not time to go home yet. Not quite enough gold. Let everyone know my ultimate is up. And hopefully, at this point, hopefully they trust me, hopefully I've saved them enough times, and they'll actually, they will expect that ultimate. So, it is the problem with Shen, right? Once, uh, if you're in there, people will expect you to save them if they do something crazy. Especially if you do announce that your ultimate is up. There might, might taunt actually doesn't go far enough to go through the cliff, which was kind of awkward. They're chasing down Shaco now. Again, he's hard to catch, but we may have him pinned in here. Oh, he has a nice turnaround there. I'm going to try to intercept from a different angle. Oh, looks like that's unnecessary. Ezreal kills him. Did it was ultimate up again? It must have been, because he was nowhere near there. And that's GG! Folks, I know it was kind of a short one, and uh, things did quickly snowball, but I thought it was a fun game to play, really enjoyed it, and I, I always I always feel good when I have a good game of Shen, because when you get those Miracle Clutch um, ultimates off, it feels really, really wonderful. So that's that. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.